Let me show you how $1 bills can really help you get your emergency fund started if you don't have one. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you, thank you for stopping by. Wanda is my name and saving money is my game. If you're not saving for emergencies, let's make it yours too. Let's save more in 2024. Let's save more money in 2024 and we'll be glad that we did. And I'm asking if you would subscribe to this channel, click the thumbs up button, drop me a comment and let me know what do you think of this video? Is it helpful? Is it a great idea? I am very curious to know. And would you share this video because there may be someone that could use this content also. And would you click the notification bell so you may be notified every time I upload a new video. I want to say thank you for being here. Welcome to everyone and I hope you are all doing well. Yes. <laughs> so, like I said, let me show you how $1 bills can help you get your emergency fund started if you don't have one. Now, in order to save for an emergency, we have to have income. And in order to save, we have to watch our spending, live on less than what we make, stay out of credit card debt. And there may be a situation where someone may be, they have an income, but it's a low income, or they may be robbing Peter to pay Paul, maybe living from paycheck to paycheck, uh, whatever reason. There can, and sometimes a person may not even have a mind to save and don't even realize the importance of saving until that emergency comes. But yes, we need to save no matter how much we make. And if we don't make that much, we need to find a way to increase our income. You know, by getting a side hustle, sell things. There's lots of ways. Just do some research and find ways. And today we're doing a savings challenge. I have seven all together and today is Monday. And this savings challenge is working with 10 $1 bills. Okay, so let me kind of let me show you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so if you have a low income or in, you know, your everything is just tight, you can just when you get paid or when you get some money, take ten ones. And this savings challenge is working with this, which I call my money bottle, and I fill it, I put 10 ones in it every week. Now, if you get paid twice, uh, every two weeks, you can put in 20 ones, or you can put in whatever you want to put in, but you can go to Walmart and get this. Uh, this bottle was in between $13 and $14, it was filled with water, and, um, I came home, poured the water out, and I started stuffing it with this. And this was empty when I started. I don't know if anybody remember or if anybody been following me. This was empty. And it's so funny. Saturday, I had to go to Walmart. And I was I pulled in my parking spot. And it was a lady getting out the her car. She went and got a cart. And she had two of these empty ones. <laughs> and I just kind of laughed. And I wanted to catch her and say, you know what I knew with the, those bottles? But uh, she got them, got the car, got them in the uh, store. She was going really, really fast. And so when I was in the store, I saw her in the line with two of these filled with water. So apparently she's drinking the water. But I wanted to go to her and say, she, she looked like she was on the phone. So that's why I didn't really say anything. But I want to say, you, let me show you what I'm doing with these bottles on my channel. <laughs> but like I said, she looked like she's on the phone and I don't want to interrupt her. But anyway, this could be an awesome little bank for a child. 
to help them start saving money, teaching them how to save. And, but we're using this to save for emergencies, okay? So, and there is a way to get this money out of here without cutting it open. I'm not gonna reveal that until it's almost time to get the money out. So, let's go ahead and we add, I've been adding 10 ones every week. Oh, this is about to come off sometime. And, like I said, it's, it's getting full. I hope I, and the goal is to save $1,000 for emergencies. And when we're saving for emergency, that money is for emergencies, okay? Now, if you have to use some of it, that's fine. Because if you have to use it, you just have to use it. Just try not to take out more than you need and try to put it back. Okay, so let's go ahead and stuff this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So if you take small amounts of money, every time you get some money, you'll be able to save for emergencies and it will add up over time. We just have to be patient, consistent, and disciplined. Just like persistent pays, consistency pays too. So let me go ahead and record this in my planner. Okay, today is uh, Monday, June the 24th. And this is Money Bottle Savings Challenge. And I added $10. And the total amount in here is $240 because last Monday it was $220. Okay, so it's 200 and four, wow, almost $250. Wow, that's good. So if you've been following me, and if you started this when I started, well, depending on how much you have been adding to this, you should have either $240 or maybe more. You don't have to just put one. You could put five, 10, 50, five, 10, 20s, 50s, whatever you want to put in it. But just make sure you keep it in a secure location, which is waterproof, fireproof, and theft proof. In a closet behind the clothes where, you know, it's not seen if somebody comes to your home or whatever. Okay? So, that's what we're doing with this savings challenge. And I'm showing you all, saving can be easy. You know, you just have to find a way to do it. Um, like I said, this gives us no excuse. None. You see, I put, t and the thing about me, I'm doing a savings challenge every day. I'm putting money in one of them every day. You only would have to do this once a week or whenever you get money, okay? You'll be surprised how once you start doing this, it'll get easier and easier it'll be just automatic and that's the way we it should be when we get paid when we get money the first thing should come to man let me see how much i can put away if it ain't nothing but one dollar start you know and i really believe uh this money is attracting more money uh because of the law of attraction i really do believe that i'm not going to go get into that but yes I believe that all the money that I've been putting away is attracting more money. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So, and I, I hope this video is helpful. I hope you got some great value out of this video. And drop me a comment and let me know if this video is helpful, if you're doing this savings challenge. Or let me know what you're doing to save. Okay, but let's make sure we do something. Okay, something is better than nothing. Okay, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice, wonderful day. And 
Happy savings. I'll catch you in the next video.